When I got into private practice, I noticed that patients demanded uh, aesthetic and strong uh, restorations that looked like natural teeth. They wanted um, white porcelain crowns. And I got into using Bruxer and Emacs about four to five years ago and never looked back. Um, I love these restorations. They are strong, aesthetic. Bruxer um, is great for the posterior. You can have um, reduced prep pipes and you can bond it, which adds retention, but has awesome strength. Um, Emax is a great aesthetic restoration. I've used it for veneers too, and it looks great and it's super strong. Um, one of the other things to think about, new dentists know this when you're out in private practice, is your lab bill. So if you're taking a PPO and um, you're reducing your fee 30% right off the top, you have to take into consideration consideration how much you're spending on this restoration that you're providing for the patient. So why not use the best, most aesthetic and strongest restoration to begin with? Uh, forget the PFM. I was taught that in dental school. Um, there is a, a place for it, but honestly nowadays, new dentists, you should be using all ceramic restorations often and you should be bonding often. Um, so check it out. If you do order Brooks or Crown from your lab, you're probably going to be saving $100 to $150 per unit um, right off the top. So I would recommend get into all ceramic restorations. Check out Brooks or Emacs if you're not using it for your posterior restorations for sure. And it's really going to change the way you do dentistry and it's going to save you some money along the way. Awesome. Thanks, guys.